Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all well. It is Friday and we are finishing the week of this craziness of all these memes, all these gimmicks. With one more team today before we put the poll up this afternoon, this evening for you guys to vote on what you'd like to see from the teams we've played this week into next week. What you'd like to see a bit more of. So make sure that you do vote over the weekend. Get those votes in. Voting your claws like Sunday afternoon. So I've got a, a little bit of time to kind of prepare for next week's episodes. But it is going to be the final week next week of the Moon Series. Which is a little bit sad. I have had a good time playing the Moon Series. It's not been my favourite format that we've had so far this year. And I am really looking forward to the Ultra Series. But on a plus side, it has been a lot of fun. And I am going to say that. And this week's been a lot of fun as well. So we've got our final team today. And I'm going to unveil it now. No Incineroar, which is yay! Okay, great. Um, it's a little bit similar to the one we run yesterday, although minus the ditto. We've got the Stack Attacker, the Kyogre, the Raichu, the Veltal. The Raichu obviously protects the Kyogre, the Veltal, and the Staraptor, who is the star of the show, and the Serena. So the Serena and the Staraptor are predominantly the main members of this team. I've just kind of put things around it. So the basic idea was that I had a long time ago was okay we've got star after it's got intimidate it's great we can scarf it so uh, with scarf we had speed scarf kyogre we had speed um swift swim ludicolo in the rain which is pretty nice um and the only thing that really kind of hurts star after in those situations is fake out support so you're like hmm okay serena is perfect for this with the queenie majesty ability so we've got that perfect protection for the star after who can final gambit anything we've got feign so nothing can protect in front of it if we want to get rid of it has to switch out force a switch and we've also got u-turn we've also got brave bird in close combat there if we want to and help in hand to support that as well so serena star after is a really good lead combination it can put on a lot of pressure like rip through parts of portions of opponents teams to carve a win condition for the rest of the team so i think it's going to be a lot of fun getting it going especially in a best of one format where your opponent's a bit kind of guessy anyway so it should work quite well so without further ado let's get into it today as always though guys if you do enjoy this content make sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel so you don't miss these daily episodes as well as a guide series of flame squad circuit uh or a stream uploads and everything else in between there so it's gonna be a lot of fun hopefully i'm pretty confident out of everything we've played this week i feel most confident about being able to get this star after serena working better than anything else we've had this week and we've had a lot of success i think only one team that we featured this week has had um double loss all the other teams we featured this week have had double wins which is which is pretty good so Hopefully we can end up, and I'm not cursing myself, with a couple of wins today, touch some wood, and uh, we'll end up with a high. And uh, I hope you have been enjoying it this week. Just changing up teams every day is, uh, is a lot of fun, and just featuring some other things. Because the Moon series has got a little bit stale, and you know... Um, it wasn't too much different from the Sun series, so it was a little bit same, you just had the Z moves there, and it did change it up quite a bit. So just finishing up on a nice high with a bit of fun is always a nice positive. But we've got a first opponent of the day running what looks like a great team, so let's hop into Team Preview. And our first opponent is running a team of Palkia, Incineroar, Aromatis. Shout out to our man Pinko there. Serena, Kyogre, and Stack Attacker. So what can we do here? Hmm. I think we can use Final Gambit and Serena. Um, so we will lead off with our illustrious lead of Star After Serena. What do we want in the back though? Because you've got to worry about potential Trick Room being set up from that Stack Attacker Aromatis as well. Um, so we probably want to bring our own Stack Attacker, do we? Although it does have a really hard time against both these Water Type Attackers. Um, Ivalta does a really nice job against them. And we could potentially just bring our own Kyogre here, which I think I'm going to do. So we'll lock in straight away. We'll wait for our opponent to pick theirs. They've got about 30 odd seconds left. And they're just going to mull it over, thinking, what the heck am I facing down against right here? But I mean, our opponent knows all about this stuff. They're playing Aromatis. They know. They know the score. They've got the style points already. I think things that I'm worried about here, it's just, it depends on the HP numbers or a lot of Pokemon for the final gamut to be like super effective, but we'll be able to have a good, a good play around with things here, won't we? See if we can have some effectiveness from the Staraptor. Staraptor's a good Pokemon in general anyway, just with the, the Intimidate support there. We're going to see the Palkia Aromatis come out for my opponent, and we'll lead off with Staraptor and Serena. Hmm. 
So, we can potentially just get rid of this Aromatis, but there's double Trick Room on the field right now, which makes it a little bit more difficult for us um, to prevent things, doesn't it? Hmm. Right. Choices, choices. I mean, the Palkia is more threatening than the Aromatis, like 100%. So if I was going to pick anything, I'd probably prefer to get rid of the big powerhouse in Palkia. It makes life a lot easier for Kyogre when it comes in. So I think Final Gambit and a Faint into that slot are a lot more beneficial than going for the Aromatis here. Just if my opponent... Okay, we're not going to see anything there, so we'll just go for the Faint and Final Gambit. This should be enough to take down this Palkia, you've got to imagine. Which it is. We lose Staraptor though, but Staraptor you did such a good job. You did such a good job, my friend. Do not worry, Palkia gone, and Aromati has gone for the Trick Room. That's where the, the Trick Room was coming from, mm, which makes sense. Okay, so I think we'll get Kyogre in, or do we get... No, we'll get Kyogre in, we'll get Kyogre in. Serena coming out for my opponent. This is fine, because we get a, a decent switch in to Veltal now, and we can start power whipping that Aromatis. Like, there's no way we want to leave Kyogre out in the field in front of this Serena. Okie doke. Right, let's bring in Veltal and go for a power whip into Aromatis. Get some nice damage off there. We haven't been intimidated yet, so that's pretty nice for us. And let's see what my opponent does to adjust. I, oh, I don't know if two power whips will be enough to take down the Aromatis. You've got to hope that it is. Hmm. And if I didn't mention before, guys, the team is in the description below. Check it out. Try it out. Let me know if you do. I do really feel like the Serena Staraptor combination is quite strong. Something I should have featured a long time ago on the channel. I'm going to see the Aromatis switch out. Kyogre coming in. <gasps> oh dear. As long as our power whip hits, this is not going to be too good for our opponent. Because we should be taking this Kyogre down. Depending on its build, of course, it might be a lot more bulky than your your average your average Kyogre. I'm going to see power whip into Iveltal. I'm going to take that quite comfortably here. And power whip um, Azarina into the Kyogre. And we will... So close. No berry there. Um, okay, so I think we will Oblivion Wing the Serena on the opposite side of the field, and we'll just go for another Power Whip into the Kyogre. That should be enough to pick up the knockout there. And if the Aromatis decides to come back in on that side of the field, then we'll get some nice damage off onto it anyway. We're not too bad. Getting rid of the Palkia. Ooh, it's a very slow Kyogre. Very slow gonna get this oblivion wing off Ooh, that's not so good that is not so good high jump kick this is not great at all Ooh, that would have been better into the veltal because that would have actually taken our veltal down i think but concerned about the power whip of course you want to be getting rid of the serena if you can um but we do get the power whip now take down the kyogre and we're going to be able to get this oblivion wing get all of our tasty tasty health back with our veltal yeah, and it's in range now to go down this next turn. Super good. And Aromatis, we've got to watch out for Moonblast, obviously, from the Aromatis. That's something that, that can come out and do give us a few problems with Eveltal, because it will hit us for super effective damage. I wouldn't have thought it will take us down, but you've got to think that a double up into that slot wouldn't be ideal for us. Um, I'm just going to power it into the Aromatis and go for that Oblivion Wing again into the Serena. I think the double up here and the forfeit comes out from my opponent. So very good game to my opponent. Good start for us today. I think the big thing there was obviously just us getting rid of the Palkia turn one, which kind of makes things a lot easier. Palkia is a difficult Pokemon to deal with anyway. You kind of suspect a Z move on there as well. So just being able to get rid of it with the Staraptor, like we did so well, um, made things a lot easier going forward. I think the stack attacker could have been a bit more problematic for us if that had been in the back, but it wasn't, it wasn't, and we take a win on our first episode.
the first game today, so let's get into our next one. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent. If it does, as always, I'll just cut to it and uh, we'll jump straight in where we bump into our next challenger. But there we go. Diana that we got up next. Straight into team preview. Playing a team of Amoongus, Incineroar, Kyogre, Tornadus, Serena, and Xerneas. Hmm, okay. So, right, I think, like, outside of the Xerneas, Ivalto does a really good job. I do want to bring Staraptor again. Does nice things to a lot of stuff on this team, especially if they're scarfed. Uh, we have to be careful about potential... Tailwind here as well. I think this one's going to be maybe a game for Raichu. Um, but then we don't have... Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. Um, we'll bring Yveltal and Kyogre and we'll leave Serena at home, I think, for this one. Yeah, we'll do that. Hopefully this is the right decision. I always feel a bit like, uh, is leaving Serena really the best thing? We need it for Star Raptor support. Especially with that Tornadus. But it's probably going to go for Tailwind. And with Raichu as that kind of fake out support on our side of the field, it's it's fine, isn't it? Um, we'll get the Intimidate off. Now the Kyogre is potentially scarfed. I would say it is scarfed. So we could fake out the Tornadus and Final Gambit into the Kyogre. Prevent the Tailwind. Hmm. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it into the Kyogre. Take it down and I'm going to just fake out the Tornadus. Break a potential slash there. <gasps> Kyogre protects! Okay, we don't get the final gambit into it this turn, but we will get it into it next turn. We do get a fake out into that Tornadus. You've got to think that the Kyogre probably switches out this next turn though to preserve it for later in the game because it doesn't want to go down to a final gambit. So what we could do is switch into Veltor. Predict that the Tornadus goes Tailwind the Kyogre switches out and we'll Volt switch into the Tornadus and take it down. So we'll switch to Saraptor, keep it around for later. I'm hoping this isn't the, the wrong decision here. Kyogre's got to feel so threatened here though. It's not switching out. Crazy man, he was going to allow it to go down. Tailwind is not so good for us now at all. And we don't take the Tornadus down at all. That's so weak. That's so weak. Ah. Uh, uh, we can only bring a Kyogre in now. Can't bring Staraptor in. Oh, this is not good. But I mean, we keep Staraptor around. Oh, oh no. Okay, this is going to be into Evaltal. Okay. Is he psych up? What are you psyching up? Okay. Huh. That seems like a bit of a waste of a Z-move to me. I am... Yeah, literally left scratching my head with that one. Um, okay, we will Snarl. And we will go for a... Do we go for an attack? We could potentially bring in Raichu again. So we've got the we've got the Focus Sash on it. And then we've got... Yeah, I think we'll, we'll do that. We'll go for... And then we've got Fake Out the next turn. And you have to double into that slot if you want to get rid of it. Which then leaves Ivaltor kind of free to just fire off this snarl. Not worried about it, so we, yeah, we're going to see the double up there. And probably. I wonder if you see a thunder. No, just a water spout. That was the other thing I was thinking, maybe get the Raichu in. Okay. Water spout. Okay, here we go. So, we do get the minus one. Tony is coming in now. Oh, ooh, it's Berry Tornadus. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. I think we've got to take down this Tornadus this next turn. Um, so we will bring in Kyogre. I'm going to need to keep Star Raptor for the Xerneas. It's lurking in the back. That's the one thing that we need to be really aware of. Um, we could Water Z the Tornadus, actually. It's not a bad plan at all. 
Um, and I think uh, it's probably a good idea to get some help back with Eveltal if we can do that. But I, I'm really tempted to suck a punch here as well. Um, Thunder, will it be enough? I don't know if it is enough to get. I'm going to Hydro Vortex the Tornadus. Because we do not want it till winding again. Amoongus coming in. Okay. That's fine. Sucker Bunch isn't going to do anything. The Hurricane. Into e. Okay, into Kyogre. That's alright. That's alright. Not okay. Please. <sighs> okay, we get away with it. The confusion. It's one of those things you hate. I hate so much. Confusion's way better now in this gen than it was. They reduce the, the, the amount of time you can actually hate yourself, haven't they, in this generation. It feels a little bit wasteful, but it, I mean, at the same time, it's good just being able to deny that future tailwind, although it does open the door a little bit for Xerneas to come in now, which is a bit of a problem. Here we go, Zen. Um, hmm. Okay, we need to. Uh, we definitely need to snarl. And I think scald. And if we can get a scald burn onto Xerneas, that would be super useful. But it's going to Geomancy. We'll probably see Rage Powder here. Oh, okay. I'm just going to see the Zen protect. Muga's probably going to spore into Eveltal, I would imagine. Come on, Kyogre. Fight through the confusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This makes it really difficult for us to do, to get any ground now. The rain does stop as well. Tailwind pit is out for my opponent. Um, oh, we're guaranteed to turn asleep now. And we've only got Star Raptor in the back. And we can't do anything. Um, I mean, we can try and Thunder the Xerneas and try and get the paralysis onto it. Asking a lot, we're confused. The RNG's all got to stack up for us right now. It really does. This is where Stack Attacker would have been the, the, the man to come in now. Come on. Hit through this confusion. Hit through the confusion. Kyogre, pick up the paralysis. Please. Come on. No. Nah, we were asking a lot. There's the, the spore. Mm. That is going to be game, my friends. That is going to be game. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's not really a lot we can do. Geomancy Xerneas. Tell you what, so we can get like one more game in today. Because this drags out. We know the result of this already. Very good game to my opponent. We'll forfeit. And um, we'll, we'll have one more game. Because we can. We've got time for it. We've definitely got time for one more game today. So, let's give this team one more try out. Um, yeah, getting into that position, there wasn't much coming back from that. We need to be thinking a little bit more ahead of ourselves going into that that turn where the um, the Moongus comes in. We give the free switch into Xerneas, which was never which was never good. You never really want to be doing that in those sort of situations. So we'll continue though, and we'll try and give this team its due in this last one today. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to find an opponent. If it does, as always, cut right to it. We've got our next opponent of the episode, so it's going to be Joker, and we'll go straight into Team Preview. Ha! Ah, Joker by name, Joker by nature, playing a team of Seeking, Vaporeon, Lapras, Golduck, Kyogre, and Pelipper. So we've got Double Duck. We've got Double Duck going on here. Um, Alright, what, what is going on here? What is going on? We've got the Pelipper. Uh, it's going to be the Tailwind Setter, it's all Mono Rain. Um, sea King protects everything with its Lightning Rod ability, of course. Uh, there's only one form of speed control here. You've got the the Swift Swim on the Golduck that we need to be a little bit careful of, obviously. You've got Water Absorb on 
uh, Vaporeon, but then you've only got Tailwind on the Pelipper. So double rain though. I think what we'll do is Lady Veltal. It's going to be very good here. Um, it's no fake out either on my opponent's side of the field. The Golduck unfortunately will outspeed Star Raptor. Hmm. Which makes it a little bit more tough. So I think probably Serena. Do we go Serena? Hmm. Do we all go our own Kyogre here? Um. Because we do have Thunder, and it kind of forces the Seekin to come in. I think we need Serena, and we'll bring Star Actor as well. Let's try this second mono water type team we're playing this week. So, it's all the rage this week. All the rage. I really don't know what to expect. Pelipper Golduck is the lead. Up a gold duck, double duck. Okay, so that's the drizzle from our Kyoka. So, um, I think we just snarl and we'll thunder the Pelipper because the only way to protect it is bring in that seeking, which means switching. Well, you've got to switch either one of the slots. If you switch out the, the Pelipper, the Seeking's not going to be taking any damage anyway. So it would make a lot of sense to see it come in potentially and allow that Golduck some room to. Uh, okay, we're going to see the Golduck switch out. There's the Seeking. Mm hmm. Yeah. And we'll probably see a Tailwind from the Pelipper here. We do some decent damage anyway with Ivalto. I think Ivalto kind of cuts this team open. We've got to win this game with. Star after whatever happens, whatever happens, we do boost the, the seeking special attack. So cancelling out that scar uh, snarl. We see a tailwind set up from the Pelipper. I mean, we're still in not a bad position at all here. We've got to be a bit careful about a potential hurricane coming out from. I mean, what do we worry about from the seeking? We could just water spout as well with Kyogre. I think you concentrate more down on. Okay, wide guard coming out. Blocking both of our attacks. Darn it! Icy wind. Okay. We saw this the same like the other week with the the, the tailwind, the icy wind support. And not the other week, the other day when we played that mono other mono water team with the the Ludicolo there with the ice icy wind support. It seems a bit overkill. Um, hmm. I'm still going to go Snarl because I don't expect another Wide Guard. And I'm just going to Scald into the Pelipper this turn. I don't think my opponent Wide Guards now. They could do. I mean, they're covering bases in case they want to catch us out. But I think they've shown their cards. And they don't go for it. And probably want to try and take advantage of the speed control that they've got. So they're going to want to attack now. Or as soon as possible. Because the Tailwind's not going to last forever. Seeking, I'm going to switch out. We're going to see Lapras hit the field now. If we can get this Snarl off here, this would be... I don't know, we're just going to see another wide guard. It's fine. So Snarl is blocked. This Skull should do decent damage to this Pelipper. It's not going to be picking up the knockout, but any burn would be good. But no, no burn. Okay. Um, we do need to be careful for the freeze dry, of course. I think I'm just going to go snarl again and just go for that. I'm going to go. Um, yeah, scald again because the, the Pelipper either has to wide guard, it doesn't attack this turn, or it has to fear the thunder. Um, and that Sea King has to come back onto the field. So I really do feel, yeah, the Pelipper, maybe the Sea King comes back in now. Yeah, so that'll take, yeah. Freeze dry. Mm hmm. Okay. I mean, that's better than into the Kyogre slot. Prefer that. No wide guard though now, so this is way better. The Tailwind's going to end this next turn, although we are icy winded, so we're still going to be probably slower than 
both of these Pokemon out in the field at the minute. Scald, let's see what this is like. Seeking's really weak, so yeah, it does pretty decent damage there. And picks up burn, which is pretty nice. Procking a berry though. Is that a lumberry or is that a big boosting a guav berry? There we go. So there's the tailwind pittering out. We can just continue to go for these snarls now. And I think we'll just protect Kyogre this turn. It's a bit passive, but I just want to get some more damage onto both these targets. Reduce their special attack before they can do anything. We may see the Seeking just switch out, knowing that we're not going to be going for a Thunder this turn. There's a pretty safe switch into Pelipper, but then you've got to worry about a potential Scald as well. But we haven't seen a Z-move yet from my opponent's side of the field, so it's got to be somewhere. We actually outspeed both Pokemon still, even after the Icy Wind. Wow. We do miss the Lapras here, which isn't great. A Surf coming out. Surf's up with Lapras. Oh, it's from the Seeking. Ha, ah, that's nice. Okay. And Thunder. Okay. Boosting the Sea King. <laughs> hmm. Right. Now, I think we got Sucker Punch into the Sea King. We haven't revealed it yet, so we should be able to take it down, and then we can go for that Thunder into the Lapras. Sucker Bench will be more than enough to get the Sea King here. And if it switches out, it means we get the Thunder anyway, so we're just covering bases. Let's see. What's my opponent thinking? It's ticking through their brain. Oh, okay. They, can, they could make that one. The Mad play, the Yoda play. Freeze Dry once again into Eveltal. Still do some nice damage there. And uh, gonna boost that seeking even more, but again, it's protected. I'm kind of locking it though. Like, I mean, I think we just oblivion wing it. We are faster than it, so we can just do that and then go for the thunder. There's not much my opponent can do here because we don't want to just go for the sucker punch again. Could potentially protect, and that wouldn't be ideal for us. So yeah, there's the oblivion wing. Get some health back in the process. Which is always going to be useful for Eveltal. Get this Thunder into the Lapras. Of course the rain has ended. So there is every chance it could miss now. We're like a turn too late. But we do hit. Okay. That's good. Wow. Lapras is so bulky. Isn't it? It's just ridiculously strong. Such a good Pokemon as well. We've seen it have like decent success in previous years as well. Okay, gold are gonna hit the field now. I think we just go snarl and um, hmm. probably a decent time to get Serena onto the field. So at least we can keep Kyogre to later. With its thunder, it'll be able to clean up this pretty easily, I think. And Serena has a pretty nice time against both these Pokemon out in the field right now. See Surf. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's just where the freeze dry is. You've got to. Probably think you want to concentrate a bit more into the Eveltal slot. As long as our Snarl hits here, yeah, though, we should be fine. Yeah, that's all good. Freeze dry, where are you going? Into Eveltal. Yeah. And it's just put us in range. Oh, the freeze. Are you kidding? Ah. <laughs> uh... Okay, we'll go for a Sucker Punch into the Golduck, and we will go for a Power Whip into the Lapras. If the Pelipper decides to come out, it's not going to enjoy taking a Power Whip. Hopefully, Eveltal can thaw itself out. Golduck going out, we're going to see Pelipper come back in. It wants to put a bit of pressure onto this, this arena. We might see it protect from the Lapras here. We haven't seen it protect yet, but... Could be a salt vest as well. We stay frozen, unfortunately. Power whip. This will be enough, I've got to imagine. Yeah. And now just Pelipper. Ooh, crit. <gasps> Maybe it didn't. I would have thought that would have taken out anyway. Herman just Golduck to deal with now.
Come on, Eveltal. Let's thaw out. Let's thaw out, get the Sucker Punch into Pelipper so we can get this Power Whip into the Golduck. Come on, come on, Eveltal. Thaw, thaw, thaw. No! Ah! Uh, Psychic. Psychic Golduck. We actually... Really? <laughs> we outspeed the Pelipper. And we miss with Power Whip. Come on, Serena. Why are you so blind? I guess Eveltal's got one more chance to get this sucker punch off into the Pelipper. Thor out. This would have been over way quicker if we hadn't been frozen. Right. Let's do this. Sucker punch this time. Come on, Eveltal. Let's do this. Thunder the Golduck. Come on. Come on. Eveltal, Thor out. Golda continually going for the psychics. We'll get the thunder now. How slow is this Pelipper? Like, literally, how slow is it? It's so slow. And we're not running a fast Kyogre in this team. There's a Hurricane. I'm not touching this Eveltal. It's giving me a chance for Eveltal to... Um, and I said, I said it earlier, didn't I? We're going to allow... We're going to allow Staraptor to win this game. So we'll protect Kyogre. We're going to switch Eveltal out into Staraptor. Because they're not targeting that slot. And we're going to allow Staraptor to, to take the win here. Okay. I would, of course it would be into that slot this turn. Watch us get confused. <laughs> You can't even write this. You can't write this sort of stuff. Right, okay. Brave Bird. Big Bird. Let's switch back into Eveltal. Brave Bird this thing. Do this. Star after. So my opponent can see what we're clicking. Button by button. Staraptor, best bird, brave bird, get rid of this Pelipper, yeah, this fake bird that it's trying to be. You are the real bird, Staraptor, we all know us, you win the game for us, you did well. Good game to my opponent, though, really entertaining game for us to finish up with today, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it today, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I really like this team, the Staraptor is a really cool Pokemon, we got to see it in action, obviously that second game that we played, I think it was just positioning ourselves and just not thinking far enough ahead when we needed to because of the threats that were there and maybe some selections in team preview as well were an issue but at least we finished with a win it's always good and against an entertaining team as well so we're going to end things up there guys keep an eye out for the poll that will be posted later this evening um, and get voting for what you'd like to see next week from all of the teams that we played this week I hope you've had a good time this week seeing all these different teams and techs and stuff like that and like I said at the beginning of the week if you've got teams and gimmicks and memes that you'd like to see played going into next week make sure you do let me know and i will make sure to try and play them and feature them next week because we've got one more week to go before we go into the ultra series so let's give it a good send off before we do that so i'm just gonna say goodbye have a great weekend guys thank you so much for tuning in hope you have a great rest of your day morning afternoon night whatever time of day it is wherever you are take care of yourselves and i'll see you for the next one so until then guys take care and bye bye